what is going on guys so today we have a video um, we have to go down to a dealership and pick up some wheels but I gotta fill you in on some things first so um, I do have some clips from when John and Dom randomly drove down from Ohio to come hang out uh, John drove the SVT Focus and Don drove his GT500 which Don had the Black Roush that I did a review on the channel that did pretty well um, and then he had a GT350 Lightning Blue then he had a 350R while still having the Roush he sold the Roush and then he had a 350R he traded that in for a 14 GT500 and then he drove that down here and then he just traded it in for another GT350 so I don't I don't understand Don sometimes, but he is going to be boosting this new GT350 that he just picked up um, But uh, here are some clips from when they came down. We had some fun took John out in the bullet and let's insert those here We'll do uh, some poles here in the old bullet man. Yep, and good old Mexico. Give us all the power. Yep Mostly because I don't want to break AC <laughs> I don't think it would but yeah. Hey, maybe I just call that what it is. AC is not meant for race cars. It's just the AC works great in this race car. The AC and the focus total combined with like 56 pounds. Too much weight. I mean, what you're really feeling this car is all that torque. Listen, I'm gonna get really excited right now. That's all I have to tell you about this. I'm ready for the sauce. We'll get the tires. go by <laughs> my future is there <laughs> <laughs> little turbo bullet. No, it looks real good, Andrew. It's, it's a fun car, car man. Good. Flips around. The tires look good. The wheels look good. The stance looks good. Well, these are the uh, the street street radials. Nice. They do the job though, right? Hooking all day long. Yeah. For that car, anyways. We really didn't spin. No. We're not I mean, the, it's warm enough outside because I did that first gear to make sure. Yeah, right. There it was right all there. hooked up. Yeah. Hey. Don't drive slow in that thing. Oh my god, dude, bitch. Send it, man. <laughs> Just pick the place and I'm gonna whip up the can and kick ass. Oh man. I'm gonna put the bullet in my tailpipe. See yeah. Mexico video coming soon. <laughs> so 
Now uh, we have to go down to the dealership because Don traded in the car with his Ford Star wheels and he did not want to give them the, those and the dealership really wants matching wheels anyways. So Don shipped down the stock GT500 wheels. We're going to go down to the dealership. Don told me if I go down to the dealership that I can actually have the rear Ford Star wheels and I'm super excited because these wheels are awesome. So we're going to go head over to FedEx and then to Molnex and and we're gonna pick up the wheels. So I know, I can't believe he uh, he has gone from a 350, 350R to a 14 GT500 and then back to a 350. But S550, really great platform. So anyways, let's go hop in the truck and head down there. All right, we are back at Molinex. to pick up the wheels. The All right, there's Don's old GT500 go to the shop and get the wheels off the car and swap the stock 1314 GT 500 wheels on there's my new babies I'm gonna put them on the bullet I think I might just need a spacer they're gonna look uh, sick on the bullet yeah you need a spacer mine are s 97 wheels actually I got a inch spacer we're good to go Back to stock. Here's the new babies. All right, so I have the rear Forge Stars. They look sick. We will be using those on something. All right, the GT500s, back to stock wheels. What is going on guys? So today we are headed over to Nick's. Nick is at work, but he needed some help data logging a car. He actually got it to start, which um, it's kind of running a little rough. So we're going to send a data log over to Power by the Hour and Lun. They're working together to tune Nick's Coyote Swap single turbo setup. So let's go head over to the car and see what we can data log. Um, he said it should fire up. Um, it's just running pretty rough. So hopefully the data log will tell kind of what's going on with the car. Here are the wheels that Nick got out of the junkyard and cleaned up a bit. So we're going to be down to logging the car. You guys should know this setup pretty well now, but let's go ahead and try to down to log it. All right, so Lun sent over a config file. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record. And we're going to go ahead and start recording. Let's see. Just hit OK. All right. Let's start it up. We're gathering data. It does run a little rough. So I'm going to finish recording and do some RPM revving and we'll see. Alright, so we recorded the log. Uh, send it off to Christian at Power by the Hour and they'll send it with Lun. Hopefully they can see something that's wrong with this, either in the tune or mechanically. Um, sometimes you can tell from a data log, sometimes you can't. But hopefully, um, this is a Gen 2 Coyote motor, so. And it has never been apart, so hopefully timing is all good. It's just a Gen 2 truck engine with, I think it's like 30,000 miles. So hopefully they can find the issue. We've got this big old precision turbo on here. So once this thing's running, it's going to be badass. 